That's right. C.J. Abrams is the National League Player of the Week presented by Chevrolet. He hit leadoff for the first time in his career on July 7th against the Rangers. And in six games batting leadoff, he's hitting 480 with three extra base hits, five stolen bases, eight runs scored. As for this week, 462, 923 Ooh. slug, and 1385 OPS. Let's bring in this young man, 22 years of age. C.J. Abrams joins us now. The question I always see when a guy is named with initial C.J. is, what's the C.J. stand for? But your full name is Paul Christopher Abrams, so I still don't know. What's the C.J. stand for? <laughs> My dad goes by Chris. Um, his name is the same. I'm a junior, so it's Chris Jr. Now that makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Listen, this past week was fantastic for you, but those numbers and your batting leadoff, what is it about batting leadoff that you've been so comfortable and able to hit the ground running? I mean, leadoff, you get to see the starting pitcher more. Um, you get to hurt, hit in the first inning. So after, right after the cage, I'm in, I'm in the batter's box. So, I mean, it just feels more comfortable at the top for sure. Hey, see, you haven't been in the game, you know, long yet. But when, when, you, when you talk about getting comfortable, have you, have you sort of had the game slow down for you a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, I just take care of the task at hand, just play my game and have fun. Hey, CJ, Cam Maven here. You know, I've always been a big fan of your athleticism, the energy that you, you bring to the field. And Cliff talked about, you know, starting to get the game to slow down. Has there been a veteran guy in that Nats clubhouse that's helped you out, kind of, you know, allowed you to slow the game down or be that guy to go to him and pick his brain when, when things are starting to speed up for you? Who's been that guy for you in that clubhouse? I'd have to say Dom Smith, you know. Every day me and him working early, coming to the field early, putting in the work, you know. Feels good to uh, see and be recognized for the work that I put in and contribution to the team. Feels veteran good. guys go a long way, too. Yeah, they do, right? bro. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, Make sure. the young boys feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of putting in work, you know, when you were hurt, your father bought a blow up batting cage, apparently occupied half the Abrams' backyard in Georgia, so you could regain your timing there. What, give me a memory of what that was mm. like. Oh, yeah. It helped big. Um, you know, being hurt, it's kind of tough on the mental, but, you know, you just got to keep going. Um, Having that cage in the backyard, me and my dad would go out there probably every day, a few hours, um, you know, just put in the work and got a machine back there so I can keep that timing right. Now, this is, you're a Georgia boy, CJ. Did that batting cage come from better baseball? I just need to know because I was down here a few <laughs> weeks ago. It was right there in your backyard. I'm just saying. You got all the tools right there at hand. You're going to have to ask my dad. I don't know. Pops I got you right. It was blown up Pops in the got you right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, when you, look, when you look at the game, a lot of changes, um, implementing, you know, the rule changes and all that. What's been the one thing that's been tough for you to sort of pick out and, and, and deal with? Um, I mean, the rule changes were pretty much the same from AAA when I was down there. Um, the bigger bases, the time, the pickoffs, only two. I mean, it's been pretty easy adjusting for sure. Uh, I read that you like to have a book on your nightstand, CJ. What book are you reading right now? 48 Laws of Power. And what's that about? That's what's on my It's just, you know, how to um, kind of take over the crowd and just be a leader, for real. Well, that's pretty cool that's also. Up. Be a leader? Uh, yeah. I was gonna that's say, what's speaking up. Of the, I got one more for you. Speaking of being a leader, I'm going to go back to that batting leadoff. Now, I'm just guessing, probably as an amateur, probably as a youth, you probably were a guy at the top of the lineup always, right? Setting the tone, being a spark, getting things started. How has that, you know, been for you going back to that role, being a spark for this young Nationals team that are being extremely competitive and played a pretty fun brand of baseball to watch this year? I, I, I have to say, more competitive than I think a lot of us anticipated. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know. Um, coming up, I've always been in the top of the lineup, so it's kind of comfortable for me um, trying to get things going for the team. You know, I had an excitement, bring the energy, and be a leader. Uh, if you could have dinner with any three people, living or dead, I read that you said Jackie Robinson, Jay-Z, mm. and Muhammad Ali. Now, I want to focus yep. on Jay-Z because you are with Rock Nation, so I feel like this should be a phone call away, no? Yeah, Jay-Z. I haven't talked to him yet. It's, yeah, I'm looking forward to it when I can. But I think this could happen. Well, you play, you play of the week. This is going to happen now. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you what, if you need, a, you need a, any chaperones or some security, me and Cliffy, <laughs> We'll make sure we beat her because we know y'all going to eat good on that, on that dinner date for sure. Call the OG, dog. We're yes, coming. <laughs> CJ Abrams, listen, man, congrats to me Player of the Week. Obviously, big expectations coming over in that solo trade, but hopefully you'll have plenty more weeks like this. We appreciate you, man.
Yeah, thank you, thank you.